think almost every organization is in transition. Uh, they, they've adopted some big data technologies. Um, most, most large organizations have, have, have adopted some big data technologies in a, in a small area though. Uh, and are still in the process of um, taking full advantage uh, of these things. And also, uh, there's, there's going to be, I think, uh, now going forward, um, much more uh, evolution of our systems. Uh, I, think, I think we now understand um, that we can better take advantage of data by constantly improving our systems. Um, I, I think companies need to um, change their culture um, uh, to become more data-driven. Uh, both in the way that they make decisions and the way they enable people to uh, perform experiments um, about data. Um, uh, so I think I think there's a lot of a lot of room for for companies to grow in uh, how they can take advantage of these tools. Um, they can discover uh, more about their customers. They can understand their customers by combining data sets and getting a full picture of their customer. Uh, they can do a better job of uh, making predictions uh, and discoveries. Um, for example, uh, finding uh, in in incidences of fraud, uh, finding money laundering, um, uh, better identifying diseases, um, uh, better planning for uh, resources and, and inventory. Uh, so in many cases, data, data can inform these processes. Um, from the very beginning, uh, people were always using more than just MapReduce. Uh, you know, Hive preceded um, a Spark. Um, Spark has come along and Spark is a much uh, better I in many ways system than MapReduce. It's got a um, higher level, more powerful, expressive a a API, um, also supports streaming. Um, so I think in the long term we're seeing tools like Spark replacing MapReduce and that's a, that's a healthy thing. Uh, in general we embrace uh, new open source technologies as, as the um, uh, I improving uh, of the platform as, as, the, as it evolves um, and gets better. Naturally we expect um, some of the older things to be replaced with new, new better solutions. It's a different approach I think than you see in a traditional commercial software world um, uh, where there's less of, a, uh, of an initiative to move people off a, a, a software which they're, they're paying for. We, we don't have a, a so-called cash cow. Um, uh, we, we're happy to embrace new technologies even if they come from elsewhere um, because they're, they're where people are not paying for the, the software itself. Um, but rather for uh, services that we provide alongside the software. Um, it's uh, it's enabled us to focus uh, more on our on our customer problems. Um, we have a larger team of engineers now. Um, we're no longer trying to compete against one another, but rather can combine forces uh, and really concentrate on building the very best uh, solutions. Uh, so I, I think it's I think it's a, a huge advantage um, to have roughly uh, you know twice the the, the company together now, um, building a single. Uh, product line rather than uh, each of us building separate product lines. Um, I think we have a very unique uh, product offering. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anything out there comparable to it and I think it is what, what companies need. Uh, so we're, we're very proud uh, to have this. I mean we, we partner with a lot of companies. Um, uh, Trifact is one of those um, and uh, that we, we don't um, believe that we, we can provide everything that folks need. A lot of other companies provide useful, useful uh, things out there and Interfact is one of those um, uh, who we, we've successfully partnered with in a lot of cases. Uh, Apache Spot has um, got a different approach because it's trying to, rather than retrospectively um, filtering uh, what people do based on uh, attacks that have been identified, it tries to proactively identify new intrusions, uh, new attacks um, uh, based on, on actually uh, noticing new patterns um, of access within the system. So I think you can provide a much more secure uh, access uh, that way. These days, although we're, we're focusing less uh, on Spot and more on uh, Metron um, as a successor to Spot. There's still a few cases um, where folks, uh, where MapReduce is a better solution um, uh, for very large, long-lived um, uh, processes. Um, we'll continue to support MapReduce um, for a long time. There are people who have uh, things that, that build on it and depend on it. Uh, so it's not going away. Um, uh, that said, you know, we're, we're, most people who are building new systems um, are not starting uh, with MapReduce today, but rather starting with Spark and, and other tools. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.